pioneer of the electrical world, misjudged genius, eccentric scientist. In the course of his life, the Serbian-American inventor Nikola Tesla has earned a wide variety of nicknames. How ingenious the spirit of this exceptional physicist really was becomes clear to us when we realize that we're still living off of some of Tesla's groundbreaking inventions today. Among other things, the electrical engineer created the basis for the modern AC network, the radio, the remote control, and the electric motor. Today, we want to take a closer look at some fascinating photos of Nikola Tesla with you, giving us an authentic impression of what the genius's everyday life was actually like. In addition, we want to examine a strange experience of the physicist, which Tesla interpreted as a groundbreaking event, a message from an alien planet. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most unbelievable aspects of Tesla's life that you never knew about. Young Tesla A look at the 23-year-old Nikola Tesla shows that the young scientist was extremely attractive. And indeed, the physicist, with his height of 1.88 meters and his dark eyes, must have left a lasting impression on the ladies of his generation. The problem is that Nikola Tesla didn't want anything to do with romantic relationships. The inventor believed that romance would distract him too much from his scientific research, which is why he remained a bachelor throughout his life. Stoic Calm The following picture shows how much trust Tesla had in the devices he invented. Although the gigantic generator behind him spews countless bolts of lightning, Tesla sits calmly in his chair and studies his notes. A familiar picture. The shot of Tesla poring over a thick tome against the backdrop of a gigantic spiral coil pretty much sums up the scientist's everyday life. In fact, the inventor's entire life was geared towards his groundbreaking work. According to his own statements, Tesla never slept more than two hours a night. Once, the physicist is said to have worked 84 hours at a time. Those lucky enough to be close to Tesla have even been woken up at 3 a.m. by him ringing them on their phones. When it came to debating a newly formed theory, Tesla simply couldn't care less about his friend's sleeping habits. Tesla at dinner This photograph, which shows Nikola Tesla as an elderly gentleman in a convivial dinner group, may have represented the absolute exception because the inventor normally preferred to eat alone. Tesla's eating habits can be described as special. Before eating a meal, he calculated the volume of the dishes and the volume of the food on his fork. It was also of central importance to him that the food was served to the minute so that he could then get back to his research as quickly as possible. In the later years of his life, the inventor ate a purely vegetarian diet, and then only bread, honey, milk, and vegetable juices came to the table. One of the key factors of Tesla's life that we often overlook these days is that he had a keen sensory system. According to those who knew him at the time, Tesla could predict when a thunderstorm was rolling in when it was more than 800 kilometers away. All of his senses seemed to be heightened at all hours of the day, allowing him to make bold predictions that more often than not turned out to be true. To add to this, he also had an incredible sense of hearing. It's been said that at one point, Tesla was able to hear a pocket watch that was in someone's pants when they were several rooms away. Even crazier is that there were reports that Tesla could hear a fly landing on a wooden table that was several feet away. Sounds like this would be completely inaudible to ordinary people like us. However, to Tesla, they were a part of everyday life. One of the most well-known stories about Tesla is when he heard the sound of a train that was around 50 kilometers away. It was reported that Tesla perceived the sound as being so incredibly loud that he nearly had a nervous breakdown. Another aspect of Tesla's sensory issues that seemed to cause him a lot of distress was when women would wear sparkly jewelry. 
it's been said that Tesla couldn't stand for anyone to wear any sort of jewelry that would sparkle. The jewelry would cause him to become fixated to the point that he couldn't focus if he was having a conversation. At one point, he met a woman who he thought was quite lovely. However, he couldn't speak with her because her jewelry was too distracting. Even more bizarre is that when one of his secretaries showed up for work one day, he sent her home because she was wearing a pearl necklace. Interview with the Genius Did the people who interviewed Tesla know how extraordinary the predictions the physicist made during talks with the press really were? In the 1920s, for example, the inventor was asked how he thought communication technology would develop in the future. Tesla then spoke of a handy device that would one day allow people to talk to each other face to face, even if the interlocutors were thousands of kilometers apart. A look at our modern smartphones shows that the genius was once again proven right. The Last Image This photograph, taken in 1943, is believed to be the last picture of Nikola Tesla alive. Although Tesla is now considered one of the greatest geniuses of all time, the physicist's last few weeks lacked the fame and admiration he enjoys today. As early as the 1930s, Tesla was barely able to make a living as a result of the global economic crisis. It was only thanks to loans taken out and the Westinghouse company, which paid Tesla a small sum every month for his consulting work that the inventor did not become completely impoverished. In the last years of his life, Tesla withdrew more and more and began to intensify his work on his ominous ray gun, but more on that later. On January 8, 1943, Tesla was found dead in his hotel room. He died completely alone. Tesla and the Alien Embassy it's July 22, 1899, when Nikola Tesla is in Colorado Springs on the edge of the mighty Rocky Mountains. It's doubtful that the genius allowed himself to be distracted by the enchanting panorama of the picturesque landscape. His attention was probably focused entirely on the complex experimental apparatus that he had set up there. In detail, it was a self-made, highly sensitive radio antenna. With this device, Tesla hoped to capture the signature of atmospheric processes such as lightning discharges. But all of a sudden, the experimental station received a signal that even the ingenious inventor hadn't reckoned on in his wildest dreams. About 20 years later, Tesla said in an interview that he heard very weak signals that came back at regular intervals. For the physicist, it was immediately clear. These mysterious tones couldn't have been produced either on Earth or by a known process in the Sun or the Moon. The inventor also ruled out Venus as the source of the repeating signals. It wasn't long before Tesla came up with an extraordinary guess. Could the frequencies possibly be coming from Mars? Because in fact, there seemed to be some striking connections between the red planet and the strange signals. As soon as Mars sank below the horizon, the rhythmic noises stopped also. Tesla took this exciting train of thought even further. What if it wasn't a random signal, but a purposeful message sent by an intelligent civilization to our civilization from a neighboring planet. While Tesla didn't consider it unlikely that he received a message from extraterrestrial beings at the time, scientists today believe that the physicist was completely wrong at the time. What the genius failed to notice in the summer of 1899 was that Jupiter was practically aligned with Mars. As a result, the two celestial bodies disappeared almost simultaneously on the horizon. Ultimately, it wasn't the red planet, but gigantic Jupiter which may have been the source of the strange message. Although the term message doesn't really fit here. The ominous signals didn't come from a highly developed species, but from the magnetic field of the largest planet in the solar system. This is about 20,000 times larger than the Earth's magnetic field. The gigantic gas planet emits radiation in almost the entire range, including radio waves of different frequencies. But how could it be that the signals were subject to a clocked rhythm? Well, this is due to a number of factors. A combination of Jupiter's 10-degree tilted magnetic poles with the gas giant's rapid rotation rate, causing some of the radio signals reaching our blue home planet to appear intermittent. 
Was Tesla crazy? Tesla was a man who was known to have many personality quirks. Because of his strange behavior, many of those around him thought that he may have been mentally ill. Aside from his hatred for jewelry and all things flashy, he also had a distaste for anything that was round. This is an odd quirk to explain, but it seems that he simply couldn't stand to be around round objects. He also hated touching someone else's hair other than his own. To make matters worse, Tesla had a very difficult sleeping pattern and preferred to only sleep for around two hours each night. He would begin his work at around 9 a.m. each day and would work throughout the day until 6 p.m. At exactly 6.10 p.m., he would stop his work and have dinner, ensuring that he wore his white gloves with every meal. After he finished his meal, he would get back to work and continue working until 3 in the morning. Even though he clearly lived a very unhealthy lifestyle, Nikola Tesla managed to live to reach the age of 86 and was, all around, a relatively healthy person. Though, despite his decent health, he was often debilitated by the obsessive behavior that led him to struggle with basic daily tasks. For example, he was obsessed with the number 3. Anytime he washed his hands, he would wash them three times in a row. If he needed to enter a building, he would walk a lap around the building three times before entering. It was this behavior that in more recent years has led experts to believe that he most likely suffered from some form of autism spectrum disorder, with the most common belief being that he had Asperger's syndrome, which is often described as a high-functioning version of autism that can often go undiagnosed. Whatever the case may be, one thing is for sure, Tesla has become a world-renowned genius and his work all those years ago has led to our lives, hundreds of years later, being transformed for the better. The Mystery of the Missing Documents that Tesla's inventions had the potential to change all of history becomes clear when we consider the events that took place shortly after the physicist's death. As is well known, Nikola Tesla died in 1943 almost penniless in a humble New York hotel room. After the lifeless body of the then 86-year-old was found, it wasn't long before some employees of the U.S. Office of Alien Property Custodian searched the genius's premises and confiscated numerous documents. The background is that Tesla had claimed to have invented a powerful particle beam weapon. U.S. government officials perhaps hoped that this death ray would prove an effective weapon on the battlefields of World War II, which was then still raging across the globe. However, the fear that Tesla's notes could fall into the hands of the enemy prompted the government to confiscate all documents and objects from the hotel room. What then really happened to the scientist files is still a big mystery and has always provided material for a wide variety of conspiracy theories. After public pressure mounted over the years, the FBI released at least some Tesla-related documents in 2016 and 2018. But that was by no means the answer to all questions, because in fact some files are still meticulously kept under lock and key to this day. According to the official investigation results, Tesla's plans for the particle beam weapon were purely speculative, almost philosophical mind games that provided no practical use, let alone a mature guide for the construction of a death ray. However, in the past, voices have repeatedly been raised, claiming that this representation is not entirely true. Brigadier General Lawrence Cardi Craigie once stated that the weapon designed by Tesla was anything but a fleeting pipe dream, but had an extremely concrete background. The question of the missing documents remains to be clarified. After Tesla died, his entire estate would be inherited by his nephew Sava Kasanovich, but U.S. government officials feared the Serb might want to seize control of Tesla's lethal technology, potentially handing it over to the enemy. In fact, the FBI is said to have toyed with the idea of arresting Kasanovich at the time. However, when a U.S. court declared Tesla's nephew the legal heir in the 1950s, those responsible had no choice but to hand over the physicist's estate. Particularly strange, originally, the government employees had recovered around 80 boxes full of documents and equipment from Tesla's hotel room. However, Sava Kasanovich was only to receive 60 cases. 
All right, folks, now it's your turn. What do you think of the fascinating shots of Nikola Tesla? Do you think the physicist actually received a secret alien message? And what do you think the missing documents are all about? We're looking forward to your comments. Feel free to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. Thank you for your interest. Have a great one and see you next time.